A pilot program that aims to improve the success rates of IVF or in vitro fertilization is being hampered by high dropout rates among its participants. Well, pre-implantation genetic screening or PGS uh, checks for chromo uh, chromosomal abnormalities in embryos created through IVF. The study was due to end last year. 267 patients were enrolled, but only 104 had embryo biopsies performed. Almost half of the patients changed their minds after the ovarian stimulation and fertilization stage and proceeded with embryo transfer directly without performing PGS or decided to freeze their embryos instead. Other patients did not proceed with a biopsy due to medical reasons such as poor quality of the blastocyst or embryo uh, arrest. Well, the ministry says more data is needed before it can say if PGS is effective and whether it should be offered as a mainstream option. It may co-share the cost of the procedure for those who wish to join the pilot and have concerns over affordability. The government has spent $1.7 million in support of the PGS laboratory. 